All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Serology EX, a very strong deck. It's coming into the meta on November 8th. I believe it's going to be able to change the meta. It just has such a strong matchup against Corner Store, Ogre Pawns, all these tally decks. It will shut down uh, Mimikyu because you also can tech in some Armorages or some normal Pokemon, like basically Pokemon with no abilities or Pokemon that don't have EX on them stage one pokemon the deck has so much utility being able to push out a lot of damage early or start attacking uh, with very early a turn two with a salvator uh, and because they're stage one it's just such a unique deck such an impressive deck that you could do a lot with it so i'm very impressed with it we're going to show you guys today some examples of decks that we've been looking at and then we're going to show you guys the best deck in our opinion so without further ado just like, subscribe, make sure you guys are here every day for Pokemon content so we can grow and get better. And then let's just jump right in here. We got a list here that's using the Noctowl Hoot Hoot that was able to win a City League. I think it was third place in the City League. Really cool idea here. Let's talk about it a little bit. This fan Rotom is able to activate Noctowl Hoot Hoot very consistently being able to bring them both out into your hand every single turn. So if you're playing, for example, two Hoot Hoot, two Noctowl, you just run one Fan Rotom and you're able to bring them out every single g turn. It's actually very impressive. No Noctowl Hoot Hoot is very good because you can get a boss into the Prime Mixer. Or you could get, for example, Earthen Vessel, Nice Stretcher, Earthen Vessel, Counter Catcher. There's so many good combinations there. Another thing you could do is also put a Luminion into the deck. So... Instead of using a Noctowl Hoot Hoot, you can just put a Luminion. Also, this deck is able to utilize Palkia uh, to attack with Radiant Greninja. Now, I don't think the Radiant Greninja is a huge attacker. I don't think you need to actually uh, focus on the Radiant Greninja as an attacker. It's just a, a utility card. It's giving you a lot of uh, draw. So I don't think you want to use him as an attacker. But if you like this Palkia V-Star, leave a comment down below. I'm very interested to see. Let's talk about this a little bit. It seems like a corner store in this deck is going to be the Squawk Belief Fez Radiant Greninja lineup. You don't ever want to mess around with them. Luminion or Hutu is going to be your supporter that brings uh, your cards in. You potentially could play both, although it's going to be a little bit harder because you don't have room for Fan Rotom. But potentially you could play both. It just depends on if you like to bring out your supporters earlier or if you need your Earthen Vessels and Prime Mixers mid-game uh, to late game, then Noctowl will be better. Uh, now, if you obviously want your supporters earlier, Luminium will be better. Uh, another thing I see here is a lot of people are playing uh, a big number of research. <clears throat> I think four Carmine, two research is the max. You don't want to play anything more. You want to maximize your car mines because you do play first a lot and so you want to use that supporter it's kind of broken to use supporter early game squawkable into supporter you're looking at 11 cards and going through a lot of uh, cards so it's absolutely necessary for you to be able to pull off that car mine every single turn and uh, boss at two is good if you're not running counter catcher so this one is not running counter catcher the only problem is if you're running poke stop with two boss you're going to be throwing them out, so it's better to have Counter Catcher. And Counter Catcher is not bad, because let's let's do the math really quickly. So you start the game turn two, you attack first. Let's say if, turn, uh, if you're first or second, you're going to be attacking first, because second you attack first with Salvatore, and first you attack first because you're going to go into stage one first. So no matter what, you're going to be at three uh, at five before your opponent. So you're going to be five, he's going to go to four, you're going to go to three, he's going to go to two. That's when you can briar and end games. And so it's necessary for you to actually have briar and it's necessary for you to not throw away your boss's orders because they could really help you. You don't want to be stuck with one prizers when you need to briar and end games. So I believe counter catcher puck stop is an interesting idea you could have utilized. I don't believe we need the canceling cologne at all. So I think this is a misplay here, a misbuild. Canceling Cologne is completely redundant in this matchup. If you really are having a problem, for example, against Mimikyu, and I think Mimikyu is the only card you cannot deal with with the Serluge, because Serluge deals with the Cornerstone Ogre Pawn. It deals with the Iron Hands, uh, Iron Thorns. It deals, well, it deals with basically with everything, it can deal damage to everything, um, and plays around everything that's stally. 
except Mimikyu. Now, what you do with the Mimikyu is, instead of giving him a canceling cologne, you just add one armor rage here. And I'll show you guys the deck list I'm probably going to prefer playing after we go through all that uh, documentation, uh, all the different deck lists that are winning City League. But yeah, guys, basically, instead of a canceling cologne, why not run one extra armor rage? This armor rage can activate immediately. It has 90 damage to KO that Mimikyu. This is the armor rage you want to be attacking with uh, if you have a big Mimikyu meta in your locals or whatever. You don't want a canceling cologne. So I think that canceling cologne is bad. Because nothing, uh, Sir Luch can attack everything except Mimikyu and Cancelling Cologne. You need, one Armor Rush can deal with four Mimikyu, but one Cancelling Cologne cannot deal with four Mimikyu. So that's why I believe this was a misbuild. People are running Legacy Energy. I don't know how good that is. I want to comment down below which is better, Legacy or Prime Mixer. I believe it's Prime Mixer. A lot of people like the Legacy. I really don't like this build, but I did want to showcase this. I don't like the Palkia Radiant Greenwich. I don't think Radiant Greenwich is such a big attack that we should be utilizing or focusing on mainly uh it's nice to have but i don't think we should focus i think we should just focus on our big beater sir luge ex and just support him to the maximum and uh, now moving on guys this is a deck that's a little bit more simpler it doesn't run luminions or noctal hoot hoots it's running that legacy energy and uh, it makes sense guys because our math is always going to be weird because we are always going to be at five and our opponents always going to we're always going to be an odd numbers and our opponent is going to always be in even numbers but instead of getting a legacy energy why not build two briars just so you get because you're always going to go to three and your opponent is always going to go to two why not just get two briars so you can actually win games at three prizes it just doesn't make sense uh, over the legacy energy i'd rather just play two briars and just every single game win turn three Every single game win turn three. Attack turn one, go to five. Attack turn two, go to four, uh, go, go to three. And then win game with the Briar. So I just don't get why Legacy Energy is being utilized at all. And this one is using a lot of energies, actually 21 energy. I think that's a little bit too much. And uh, makes sense that he's running Super Rod because he's just throwing out all his cards. I don't know what the Super Rod is there for even. Uh, this just... This is a weird deck, guys. Uh, I'm just showing you this because it's actually worked. It actually did good against in City League and actually was able to perform. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted to get some guidelines on the deck we're going to build. And, yeah, here's the deck, guys, uh, that we are going to be building mainly for the new set. Fourth Serolo GX, guys. We're going to run three Serolo GX with one Armorage for the Mimikyu matchup. We're going to run the four Sharkadat. We're going to go for the Squawk and no Heavy Ball at all into the Luminion. We're going to test out the Luminion. If we don't like Luminion, we'll go for the Noctol Hoot Hoot. Uh, only at one all though. But Luminion, I honestly want to run one or... I only, I almost want to run two Luminions just because they're so necessary. Because early game you want to find Salvatore, then late game you want to find Boss or Briar. So they're so good now. I just don't know. Uh, yeah, you might want to run two... Luminion over the Noctowl Hoot Hoot. I think that's enough. One Fez for sure. One Radiant Ranger. I'm not. I'm not. I'm in disbelief that nobody's building Drill Burr because it's such a strong card. Gives you six three extra damage. Very little. Uh, very little concern from you. You don't have to do anything. And with Perfect Mixer combined, you get 160 extra damage. It's absolutely impressive. All you need for that is one Poke Stop that gives you an Ultra Ball and Perfect Mixer, and you can activate that 160 extra damage. 100% is a necessary uh, must-played card, in my opinion. So I'm surprised no one is playing it. For Carmine, only one research is necessary. You don't need any more. You could pull pull them out with the Luminion if you need it, but you really don't. Um, boss's orders at one. I kind of want to fit two, but I can't. Briar at one. I want to have it at two because every single game you go to three and your opponent is at an even number at two. So you almost want to always Briar, but uh, yeah, some... Sometimes you just can't find it, so you want to well, you want to have two off, but it's just too much too much space for two briar. It's almost impossible. Salvatore is just very iffy. There are certain decks that will you'll be able to utilize Salvatore a little bit better. Uh, slower decks that take a little bit more time to go off. If he has one Reggie Drago on the board, and you can get to two twenty, and he doesn't have anything else set up. 
and you know if you get rid of that Reggie Drago, you get to an extra turn that you can that he needs to set up in, and you might be able to win the game with. Then yeah, you go for the Salvatore. If the opponent only has no bench Pokemon, kind of started off a little bit slow, and you can get that KO and win the game. You go Salvatore. So Salvatore is definitely a good tech card. You get a lot of potential with it. it can do really good against Raging Bolt against uh, uh, like a badly set up Dragapult, uh, badly set up Raging Drago. Salvatore is th that's what Salvatore is there for. He kind of destroys their bad bad setup and slows them down really really heavy. If you don't want a Salvatore, you just go for the Carmine early or the research and get yourself ahead. That's a little bit better for you. But yeah, Salvatore is there just in case you want to end games early. Also, let's say you kind of misplayed and you don't have a Thornton, but you have a Shark Cadet in hand. You just play it down to a Salvatore. This is over a Thornton, basically. It's better than Thornton because, because it'll actually... You, you don't need to actually have an Ultra Ball. You just need to have a Shark Adet. Or you just need the Nest Ball out of Shark Adet. That's all you need. And you can activate Salvatore. Even if he drag a bolt to you. So Salvatore is definitely a must. It's either Salvatore or Thornton. I like Thornton a lot in Charizard. I think Salvatore is better for this deck. Because you can start attacking immediately. So it's Thornton or Salvatore. Because Dra Dragapult is a real meta car deck. And in my opinion, Salvatore every time because the tech is better with Salvatore. Four Ultra, four Nest Ball, three Night Stretcher. We were able to fit three. It's so beautiful. Three Earthen Vessel, one Pal Pad, one Counter Catcher, one Prime Mixer, one Rigid Band. This is going to make our big guy 300. It's actually really cool. The problem with this is we can't research it. We can't, we can't go for it. We can't find it in any other way except by drawing into it. And... Pokestop could toss it out. So this is the problem with it. We don't, we can't pal pad it back in. It's not like uh, one of these supporters that we can just throw back into the deck if we Pokestop it. So it's almost like you want to pull this as early as possible. Maybe even remove it from the deck. Honestly, Rigid Band, I'm going to be testing this. I don't know if I'm going to need it so badly. But the card is so broken. I was looking for something to give extra HP for Stage 1 Pokemon and this Rigid Band. Even though it's only 30, it's still very, very useful. Also, I'm also utilizing one Roxanne here, guys, because a lot of people are, for some reason, like we were looking at these other decks, they kind of are not doing great. So there, there's one Iono there. What's the Iono for? You should Roxanne. You don't need the Iono here. What? What's the Iono for? A year, you could fit definitely one Roxanne in here. You don't need six card mines, six research. You don't need that. So it feels like there's a, a room for Roxanne late game. And these decks, and so I was able to fit that Roxanne. I really like the Roxanne in there, and I believe that it can really get you that W that you're looking for. Slow down the opponent heavy, especially in a turn where you have Counter Catcher in hand. Your Roxanne Counter Catcher, his big attacker or his uh, his Fezendibity, and now he's forced to deal with your 300 Rigid Banded uh, Sir Luge 300 HP with with two cards in hand, three cards in hand potentially. And it's going to be a rough time for him. So I really like the Roxanne there. Just one. We'll test it out. And yeah, that's the deck, guys. I'm interested in your opinions. What do you think about this deck? Do you believe that you would actually run something close to this at all? Sorry, I was hiding that counter catcher back there. But yeah, uh, here it is. This is the deck. Interested in your opinions, guys. Leave them down below. Um, I want to know if you would change anything in this deck list leave it down below tell me and yeah let's talk about this let's discuss